Hi, my name is Matt, I'm Production Manager here at ECD, and we're going to talk you through the process of building a custom ECD Defender. So this is our design studio, this is where we store completed builds for clients to look at. It's a design area where you're able to show all the renderings on big screen TV. So this is John, this is our uh, sales guru, director of sales, John Price. And he's the first point of contact with the customer when they, uh, when they want to build a Defender. He'll be able to show them different samples, different swatches, different colors, every different possible combination. And this is Brandon, our post invoice administrator, and he, um, he handles the customer after they're done with the process. Hey guys. You have my office, production management, and this is Tyler, and that he makes all of the renderings of all of their vehicles uh, so they can choose exactly which options they want. So he uses a, an engine called Unreal, which is actually a gaming engine, to do all of these renderings so that they're video renderings, they're 3D renderings, that the, the customer can get an exact feel, a realistic feel for what they're actually going to get in their vehicle. So in the first step of the process, we receive vehicles from all over the world, and we bring them inside and we actually tear them apart. And as we tear them apart, we identify which parts are good and reusable and which parts are scrap. And we replace all of the bad parts with new parts. This is the frame department, and this is where we take all of our uh, restored frames and galvanized frames and prepare them for buildup. We cover these frames in, uh, in a coating called Raptor Liner, which basically allows them to weather all of the elements, any rock chips, any road salt, any debris, and, and the frames last much longer that way than the typical Land Rover coating. This is Michael, he's our resident fabricator. This is where we make all of our custom bracketry, that seat brackets, sway bar brackets, anything that needs to be custom on the vehicle is made by this man right here. Hey guys, this is our roller department. This is where we take those chassis from that department and build them up into rolling chassis. So in this area, you hang the axle, the brakes, brake rotors, stub axles, swivel balls up front, all of the steering gear gets built up right here. So this is where our production line begins. This is the ECD North Line, and this is the main custom build production line. So this is the drivetrain bay. This is where we install the engine, the transmission, the transfer case, the drive shafts, all the associated components, that's including fuel system, EVAP system, etc. Um, right here is a Corvette motor. It's a 450 horsepower LT1, and that's one of our popular motors. Uh, we range from the LS3 base model at 430 horsepower all the way up to uh, 650 horsepower LT4. So this is our paint department, the lab. In this department, we start by taking all parts down to bare metal. Then we take those bare metal parts, we do any necessary body work, any filling, any bondo, anything of that nature. And once they are, uh, once they are body worked to our, uh, to our high QC standards, then we take them and we prime them, bring them out of prime, block them, paint them in, in one of any possible color that a customer could ask for, and then buff them, and then they go on the truck. This is where the initial body assembly happens. So as you can see here, we have a tub, T-post, floor pans, bulkhead, and the carpet's starting to go in. So typically by the time it rolls out of here, it will have a roof and a windscreen frame on it and then roll to the next phase. And this room is our subassembly team. And in this room, we build all of the subassemblies, the mechanical subassemblies for the truck. That includes doors, wings, fenders, um, slam panels for the hood, and anything in between, smaller mechanical subassemblies. So they basically take all of the takeoff parts, refurbish them, powder coat them, and put them back together as essentially new parts. So the first of our sub feeder departments is the harness department, sub electrics. And here they basically, they take parts of donor harnesses and they take new connectors and they amalgamate them together into a custom one-off built harness for our truck. So this is our upholstery team, and in this room we custom build all of the upholstery for, for our defenders. So that includes everything from the headliner down to the carpet and everything in between. So um, we have multiple choices of seats, all of which are built by hand in this room. We have sewers that hand stitch all of our leather, and then we bring all of the leather together in one of our many different choices of seat. This is the phase where we wire the inside of the car, we put the dash in, we put all of the seats in, and we put the doors on. 
So the truck right here is about right at the end of phase four and would typically roll up to the next phase, which is final cosmetics phase five. So this is where the trucks come to get finished for the customer. And this is our final assembly manager, Jordan. Say hi, Jordan. Hello. Jordan's the last man to touch the truck before it goes to QC. So he does all the final install of all of the smaller uh, items, and that's going to be interior plastics, uh, dash accoutrements, the front end, the grill, the hood, the winch. All of those things get installed in this phase, and this is the final phase. So after this, we send pictures to the customer, and then it comes back and goes through our extensive QC process. So our first step in our QC process is phase six, and this is Josh, and he performs the initial phase six inspection. On the phase six inspection, he goes through a 700 point checklist, which addresses everything from roller, drivetrain, fabrication, the axles, the chassis, all the way up to the seats and the paint. So he's, he's looking for any defects, whether they're cosmetic or mechanical, and he runs through the 700 point checklist, not once, not twice, but three times before the vehicle ends up with the customer. So this is phase seven. After Josh's initial inspection, if it's below a certain score, he sends it back to the line and the line will then fix a few things and bring them back into compliance. So after another checkup, the truck now goes to our phase nine team and that's, uh, that's Nick and he'll do any further work off any items that fell through the cracks, any parts that were back ordered and came in late. Um, a team made up of Nick and our electrician John will finish those items. After phase nine, then it goes to paint for any final paint repairs that are needed after road miles. So after any necessary paint repairs, it now comes back to Josh for phase 11 for the third and final time, which is another comprehensive 700 point inspection to make sure that anything remaining has been completed. After that, it goes to phase 12, which is our uh, sub vendor who does our air conditioning install. And then for phase 13, it's our final work off bay, which is uh, Ruben. The final step in our QC process is the pre ship process. Here, after over a thousand test miles, our techs go through another 120 step inspection process where they look for anything that could possibly fail on the customer. That is to include anything drivetrain related, anything electrical, the interior, they, they go through one final check where they make sure that everything is perfect quality to the customer. And here you see Brian and Raphael going through a final check on, uh, on the engine on this Range Rover Classic. So now you've seen the process from inception to shipping, including sales, design, visual, the build process, the QC process, and the pre-ship process. We do this many processes to make sure that the, the customer receives the highest quality vehicle possible at the end of the final phase.